Cathode ray tube experiment introduction this is an experiment which provide the existence of electron as one of the constituent particles of every matter structure of a cathode ray tube we add two metallic plates across two opposite ends of an evacuated glass tube now these plates are connected to a high voltage battery the plate which is connected to the negative end of the battery is called cathode and the plate which is connected to the positive end of the battery is called anode also a small hole is created on the anode plate and a layer of fluorescent zinc sulfide is done on the glass behind the anode working principle of cathode ray tube due to the connection of a high voltage battery charge starts to flow from cathode to anode we can understand this direction of flow as we see some fluorescent spots on the zinc sulfide layer behind the anode as a huge number of charges flow from cathode to anode so we can say it is a ray but it is not visible if we place an electric field from positive to negative direction then we observe the deviation of the ray towards the positive side of the electric field and when we place this setup inside a magnetic field then the same behavior is observed as shown by a negative charge hence the conclusion is number 1 as they move from negative to positive end so we can say this ray is formed by negative charged particles number 2 even after changing the gas and metallic plate the direction of the ray did not change so we can conclude that the ray is made up of an element which is present in every material in the universe this element was named as electron later scientist jj thomson described the q by m of electron by this experiment